So this is gonna be three minutes on the uncomfortable part of religion for me. And so, um, yeah, we le I left off the conversation yesterday talking about, you know, what I do believe and how I, how I can be happy in the world even though I don't have any real belief in any religion. Like, my, my, my happiness is not dependent on a belief in, you know, a deity or any kind of religious foundation, right? The world, the world has plenty to offer. That should be enough. But the, so I want to talk today a little bit more about, like, what my issues are around religion, why I find religion so problematic. And that is like most ideologies, well, no, not like most ideologies. Religion is very particular. Um, one's joy, one's satisfaction in life is dependent on a belief in something that cannot be proved as true. Right, so I'm not saying that it's all, you know, bullshit, right? But there's no way to prove it as true. And so once a person can be engaged and tie their happiness to something that could be made up from whole cloth, once a person has invested themselves in the belief in something that is not true, my sense is it makes them more susceptible to believing in other things that are not true. So a person who believes wholeheartedly in Christianity, for example, might be the same person who you could turn around and manipulate to believe in like ideologies around gender, ideologies around race, ideologies around wealth and class and leadership, right? And so there's a little bit of a I don't want to say that it's like the slippery slope once I believe in, like, once I believe in Santa Claus, I believe that, you know, that person is the devil and needs to be killed. But in some ways, that's kind of what happens, right? We see, because of religion, people believing that they're, you know, if I believe that I am good because of my religion, we can believe that a whole group of people are bad because they don't believe, and it just becomes a really, really messy, sticky thing. That's really, that, so that's so that's that part, right? Also, even though I don't believe in religion, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that I'm, like, not susceptible to superstition and believing in other things, right? For example, I have a death note here, right? So someone left a death note at the house, and I don't know, maybe it was being left as a gift for me, probably was being left as a gift for me, but, like, like, I wouldn't write anyone's name in the death note, even though I don't believe, like, really, I don't really believe in it, but, like, I wouldn't do it, right? But why then, if I won't write in the death, the, why, why then, if I won't write in the death note, would I not write in, you know, would I not believe in God, you know, because the risk of going to hell, like, so anyway, all of that said, um, <laughs> we're out of time right now, and so, um, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.